Throughout my childhood, I grew up watching my cousins play games I was way too young to really understand. But I was always intrigued in the atmosphere and the overall creation of horror. And as I grew older, I wanted to try those games myself. Games like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Classics in survival horror that to this day still hold up extremely well and are perfect for those willing to scare themselves. Something about those games drew me in, and I immersed myself to the point where I felt closer to the characters that I got to play as. I began to worry that with each room that I explored, something worse was going to be lurking behind the next door, and that sensation became something that I grew to love. So when I found out about Signalis, I knew I had an experience awaiting me. Signalis is an isometric survival horror game that has you exploring a desolate facility inhabited by its corrupted workers. The story right from the beginning is a mystery. You know absolutely nothing. You wake up from cryo sleep and begin venturing around and uncovering the world around you. Little by little, the game will open up and unfold, allowing you to understand your purpose and reasoning behind why you're there to begin with. Signalis is one of the best survival horror games with a fresh take on the genre while borrowing themes from its predecessors. The thing that makes this game stand out to me is how unique the game feels in its art style. Signalis paints an amazing canvas as you dive deeper into its rabbit hole, and the story behind it all presents more questions with each answer given. Everything in Signalis feels merged. Between the story and its gameplay, your actions within the game tie back to another aspect of the story and everything feels connected. Allowing yourself to be immersed in this dreadful world that the developer's Rose Engine created is honestly a blessing. For instance, making snap decisions whether to shoot your way out of a situation versus stealthily moving around your enemies to save on ammo because of how sparse it is. Not to mention that the puzzles are also dense and different, having some real brain teasers in there that really surprised me as well. Something that I feel like all true survival horror games should adopt as time goes on is that games normally will have ammo awaiting you when you take down an enemy. But in Signalis, it takes inspiration from the early Resident Evil days, where ammo didn't regenerate through enemy corpses. Even the enemies are designed to withstand multiple shots, and sometimes even that won't keep them down. This gameplay element alone shifts the way that games are made in this genre today. And you can learn a lot from playing a game like this. Certain elements that are put in place to keep the progression fresh as well as keep it entertaining. Something I did notice after dying was that certain enemies would even take more damage from a specific weapon type, making most situations harder but more rewarding if played out correctly. Signalis opens the door for you to make mistakes and yet still accomplish the task at hand. Needless to say, this game was super refreshing to play, and it was such an interesting fictional world to explore. Now I could go into detail about its lore and its characters, but that would literally steal the experience that you could have for this game. No matter the price of entry for this, it's well worth it. Honestly, we don't get games like this that come around that often, where we see mechanics in the game affect the mood, and that mood can shift the story in a direction you weren't even expecting. Signalis nails every theme it presents from its intensity to its eeriness, and if you're looking for an unbelievably underrated survival horror game, then please look no further. I recommend going in completely blind, just like I did, not knowing anything. I even tried to show as little as I could because it would only ruin the experience that awaits you. If it wasn't already obvious, I obviously love playing a variety of different games, so I thought it would be nice to shake things up a bit and talk about a genre that feels really special to me. Anyways, I really appreciate you coming by and spending some of your day with me. My name is Zen, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.